right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of February, finishing up another really busy month here at the Wine Watch of Tastings. We keep adding things onto the calendar here. It's just crazy. This one just crept up on us. We've got Jesse Katz, the winemaker for Lancaster Estate and Roth Estate, here next a week from tonight. And uh, we just popped this one on the calendar. We got the wines up there now. Now we're getting the video shot and put the menu together. I love it all the way it all just comes together right? all at once. And uh, we've got a great lineup of wines for you here. This winery, these two wineries are now under the auspices of the Fo Foley Family Estates. And this is a wine group that is on the move. Bill Foley has been buying up distressed properties all over California. And uh, this is uh, two, these are two estate properties, meaning that they do have vineyards of their own. But it's a little misleading, this Roth estate. And they do buy some fruit for their Chardonnay and Pinot Noir labels. The board overridals are all from their estate, I believe. But hey, that's why we got Jesse in town to tell us all about what's going on now at Roth and at Lancaster Estate. And uh, we've got some great uh, wines here, the Sauvignon Blanc and the Bordeaux Varietals from the Alexander Valley. This is a great part of Sonoma for growing Bordeaux Varietals. And uh, I've had these Lancaster wines in the past outstanding. They started with the 1995 vintage. Well, that's when they bought the uh, the winery, the Makamas uh, River Winery. Not may I, not... Uh, not uh, Matanzas Creek, but it sounds a little bit like that, the winery they bought. And they have completely revamped that and put in caves. And it's a really incredible property. They're making some fabulous wines from these 53 acres of property there. And as I mentioned, Roth Estate, uh, 2001, that's when this winery started. And they do have their own estate vineyards. But uh, I believe they do buy some fruit for the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir. They're from the Sonoma Coast which is uh, well a little bit far away from the estate there. But uh, two incredible wineries offering some tremendous value. You know, they see so many wines that are expensive, really expensive from Napa today. It's nice to see wines in the $20 to $25 price range. Well, the Lancaster Estate is a bit more than that, $75. But when you get into the top-level Cabernet Sauvignons, in Sonoma Valley, Alexander Valley, one of the best areas in Sonoma for growing Cabernet Sauvignon, the wines just do not catch the same prices, get the same prices as Napa Valley wines do, which is something that is uh, very good for the consumer. You can get some of the best Cabernet or Bordeaux varietal blends from Sonoma for a fraction of the cost, which you'll find similar quality wines coming in from Napa Valley today. All right, we'll check it out. All the wines that we're going to be showing you a week from tonight here at the store with Ross Estate and the Lancaster Estate with our guest winemaker, Jesse Katz, who worked for Screaming Eagle. One of the things that he's, uh, well, they, they plug on their website. Why not? This is one of the most famous wineries in the world today out of Napa Valley. $1,000 a bottle. This gentleman worked there. He's also worked with other legends. Well, Andy Erickson worked at Screaming Eagle, Paul Hobbs, Hans Vinding Deers, and Robert Foley, just a short list of the top guys that this guy has been educated by. So we're looking forward to break bread with Jesse a week from tonight. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.